just forgot you You stole my heart away with the things that you do And lately, you drive me crazy, baby Maybe that's why I escape in your love Today is a big packing night because tomorrow we're headed to New York City for three days to celebrate one of our really good friend Emily's birthday. We're super excited. Um, taking Pav with us. Do you guys see him? He's like chilling. Up. Literally. Seriously. He's like, are you gonna get that? Are you gonna get that, mom? <laughs> Does anyone else get a lot of anxiety about packing? I always feel like I'm forgetting something really important every time. And I get almost like, when I get to my destination and I forget something, I kind of freak out. So, I don't know. I think I just need to deal with it and pack. I think I hate packing because I'm afraid of forgetting stuff. And it's a cyclic phenomenon that occurs. Made some progress. The clothes are packed and shoes. We just need to pack for our bag now. So I'm gonna put Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Three days worth of food. So that's about a lot of patty pap. Gang. Pap, are you part of the weenie gang? He's like, I'm not a wiener dog. Don't call me wiener dog, children. You know when kids call him a wiener dog and he's just like, He's like, cool, are you calling me a dog? Yeah. Dude, I'm posting this. Finally done packing for the night. So, time to head to bed. And we'll see you guys tomorrow for our flight. Oh, we like. On our way to the airport to catch our flight. Look how green it is on the mountain. It's been raining a whole lot in California. And this is the first time I've ever seen these mountains like lusciously green. It's beautiful. Yeah, with green. Yeah. Just landed, and I think it's that way. So. Good morning! We are in New York today. We got in about, we got to our hotel about like Chibi. We got into our hotel about 2 a.m. These dogs are just pure madness. Pure madness. Oh, oh. oh. Kokoro, you want to be on the vlog, Kokoro? We're gonna have a little meetup at Forest Morton. It's a dog friendly um, cafe. Super excited. Wow, Kokoro looks so fluffy on camera. You look like the fluffiest dog ever. Mwah. You forget what it's like to be in a city until you're back in one, and you're like, wow, 
tab is looking thick. Thick boy! Give it to her, Pab. Good boy. <laughs> Hello, it's Pab Dad. Good morning, Pab loves. Tell, we're gonna take some photos of Pav. Yeah, your face is wet. Did you put pee pee hands I, on your face? I did. I peed on my hands and it was like, Bleh! no. Um, I like to wet my face. I don't know. I've done that since I was a kid. Like whenever I wash I, my hands. I feel hands. like that's nasty. I feel like I wash my hands and then I put water on my face. It feels really Do you good. you soap it? No. I just put water on my face. It like cools me. Basically, poo poo hands. You <laughs> know what's not Always sweating. <laughs> Always. <laughs> Spice. Oh. Alrighty then. So we're back in Santa Barbara. Um, after an amazing time in New York, we had tons of fun. Um, hung out with the people. Saw awesome doggos. Thank you to everyone who came out to our meet and greet. It's so awesome just to meet all of you in person. Meet all of you in person on the other side of the country and just see um, all kinds of awesome people in Dagos. Some awesome food. Oh, that pizza. Mm. That pepperoni pizza. I know. It was great. I know. Amazing. Um, with that, we kind of wanted to talk about how dog friendly New York was. Being from California, California is super dog friendly. Most places have outdoor seating where you can take your dog. But in New York, since it's not as like weather friendly either, there wasn't a lot of places where we can take Pavlov and the dogs with us. Like for instance, during the subway ride, you can take your dog on as long as it fits in the bag. So I don't know if you guys have seen like pictures of big dogs in subways in New York, but I'll insert some of them here because it's super fun. Funny. They're in like huge bags, 
but it still follows the rules. Mm -hmm. And um, but the Lyfts and Ubers weren't so friendly. Yeah, some of the Ubers, like I called as a courtesy to let them know like, hey, we do have um, dogs with us. And some of them would just cancel on us, which is real rude. And it's interesting, they'll call you to see where you're going, even though that's not very ethical. And if it's not where they want to go, they'll like cancel on you. Yeah, they're but, like, you're going to Brooklyn. Nah, don't want to go to Brooklyn until later. Okay, I'm gonna cancel this ride. Right, but that can be tricky because it's like if you're trying to book a Uber to the airport and they just keep canceling on you, it just, it really sucks. Mm -hmm. We found it really easy to use cabs more often and even some of them were super friendly with dogs too because we just call it, then they'll come to us and see that we have dogs and are willing to take us, so. Pro tip, maybe take a taxi instead, and sometimes the taxis actually ended up being cheaper, mm -hmm. which is pretty cool. What else? There were a couple places we went to that were super dog friendly, like the Oculus. Ooh, the Oculus was that dog friendly. That was cool. Um, Boris and Horton, where any meet and greet was, obviously. Yeah. Not a lot of food places are very dog friendly. I get food to go, like a slice of pizza or like a bagel and like eat it outside. Um, luckily, it was like we're pretty nice when we went, so we just kind of took a lot of our food to the park. But I don't remember a lot of like sit down places where. Well, I don't think we went anywhere that was dog friendly. Yeah. Um, that we could bring the dogs inside, aside <clears> from <throat> the cafe. Yeah. Um. We stayed at the Kimpton one night, and then the Afania um, in Murray Hill the second night. They were both dog friendly, which is awesome. So there are some hotels that are dog friendly in the city, which is great. But other than that, it's not the most dog friendly city we've been to. Mm hmm. But. Still had a really good time celebrating the human's birthday, so what else? Oh, pro tip, if you want pictures at the Brooklyn Bridge, make sure you go early. We got even got there a little later than we wanted to, but I think, what was it, 7 o'clock or 8 o'clock? I think we got there at 8. So we got there at 8 a.m., um, which is really difficult for us because we were in California, or we're from California, which is a three-hour time difference, and we were there the week after the time change. And so we went ahead an hour for the time change, and then we went ahead three hours for the time zone change, a total of four hours, and so... We were pooped. We were pooped, but we got there at about 8 a.m. We were able to take awesome pictures at the Brooklyn Bridge. Because, you know, because we went early, there weren't a lot of people there, and so we were able, we were actually able to take good pictures, um, which is, yeah, always a tough thing when there's people in the background everywhere. But yeah, we had an awesome time. We want to thank everyone for coming to our meet and greet. We had an amazing time meeting everyone. And overall, hopefully we'll be in New York again sometime later this year. Maybe. 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 We'll see. We'll see. Mm -hmm. See you guys in the next vlog. Bye.